Hyperkin. Hyperkin interests me because, well, they make retro video gaming materials. And the Xbox, the original Xbox, was a system that interested me very early on. I absolutely loved that video game system. It quickly became one of my favorite game systems. Granted, the original launch group of games, the first games that launched with it, the only one that stood out to me was Mad Dash Racing. But the capabilities of the system, the controller, the appearance, and soon was released a whole bunch of really amazing games from Sega. Uh, the Xbox really won me over. It's a video game system I absolutely love. So allow me to rant about a subject. I'm gonna just rant as much as I can rant on this subject, and as rant-like as possible on this subject, because here's my chance to talk about Xbox and retro video gaming and memes. Memes. They're more than just pictures that people share on Facebook. some free time today, so I'm going to fill myself with caffeine, do a few things that I want to get done. <sighs> Ooh, vanilla double shot. Starbucks! Starbucks! Yeah, I, I normally drink Monster uh, when I get the coffee flavored. Uh, but anyway, yeah, yeah, caffeine. Need caffeine? Going to talk about video games. need the shave. Alright, here's what I want to talk about. Hyperkin is making, I think Hyperkin's going to replace Retrobit as being like the company I really respect um, that makes retro gaming stuff. Hyperkin is making a replica of the original Xbox controller. The one that people nicknamed the Duke. The good one! Well, actually, the Xbox 360 controller was great. Don't have that much experience with the Xbox One controller, which in a way is really the Xbox 3, but whatever. Uh, don't have a lot. Of, I'm not going to judge that one. But the Xbox 360 controller was great. The Xbox, or the original Xbox controller S was a piece of crap. They put the the black and white buttons down where I'd press certain button combinations and my hand would gently brush against one of those two black or white buttons and then activate them because they're really sensitive and in an incredibly stupid place and I was like, I fucking hate this controller, I fucking hate this controller but I had to use the controller S because the original controller just wasn't as durable as I would have hoped and then one of the buttons, the A button, started to wear out with time and just wasn't responding properly so I had to get a new controller, and they stopped making the controller, the original Xbox controller. The proper one, the one that they now call the Duke. And that, that really, really fucking sucked, because that was a fucking great controller. Why did they stop making it? I don't know, stupidity and memes. When the Xbox came out to be like all the Nintendo and Sony, and to a lesser degree Sega fanboys, uh, I was more of a Sega fan than Sony or Nintendo, but I had no problem giving the Xbox a chance, just like I had no problem giving the PlayStation a chance. But the criticism, and actually the Xbox right from the start looked really interesting to me. Uh, but <clears throat> there were complaints about the Xbox. I remember some, this was the line I remember online. It's bigger than a Commodore 64 with twice the loading time, which was just stupid, but whatever. And then when people made fun of the controller's big size, well, it actually was big compared to the GameCube controller or the PlayStation 2 controller. So that meme stuck that it has this horribly big controller. Um, and I never really heard that complaint too much at first. I heard it a bit, but it was mixed in with other crap. But I got the controller. Loved it. It was designed to fit the human hands perfectly. Wasn't bigger than a Dreamcast controller. Nobody had a fucking problem with the Dreamcast controller. Way better designed than that fucking Dreamcast controller. But hey, gonna complain about the Xbox controller. Not gonna complain about the Dream. Even worse than the Dreamcast controller. This Dreamcast controller might not have been as good as the Xbox controller, but actually was kind of good. The Nintendo 64 controller. 
just as fucking big. Far more awkward. You'd have your fingers on your fi despite the fact it had a big size. Your fingers were cramped all over it, and, and, and it, like it just cramped your fucking fingers. The, the Nintendo 64 controller was fucking horrid. Xbox controller, hey, fits the hands perfectly. Everything's angled in a position. The main action buttons, there's four of them, and they're positioned so that you can really move your thumb really rapidly back and forth from one to the next. And then you add the black and white buttons position so it's almost like two rows of three. Wow, perfect! Yeah, um, perhaps not as perfect as the Sega Saturn controller was, but a different sort of thing, and for something with two analog sticks, the best fucking double analog stick controller I ever saw. But it went away, because people complained about it and mocked it. Well, Hyperkin's bringing it back as a USB controller, and it's about fucking time! Alright, so I ranted. I ranted as much of a rant as I could rant on the subject. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I, I'm, yeah, I'm really, really, really looking forward to, uh, the, and, and the USB Xbox controller that I can use with the personal computer. Sign me up for that. Uh, and the actual one, when you look at it online, it actually has a little video screen built into the gem that used to have, well, that has the Xbox logo on the original version of the controller. Uh, this, this, this just looks great. I want one of these. I'm interested. Uh, if you like those controllers and you ever play a video game on your personal computer, you know, you might want to consider looking into this.